Hi, I'm Ian Hutchinson and this is Throwback Threads. So this is uh, my first ever RST suit from 2011. Was meant to be riding for SMR team at the TT with this suit, but at the time I had a frame on my leg and I was still hoping to make the TT. It didn't happen, so we ended up doing a parade lap with um, the superbike. So we had to modify the leg. So we did this part Velcro to get the frame through, Velcroed it up, and then a separate piece of leather was basically wrapped around my frame. And yeah, it was quite sore, to be honest. It was six months after I'd been ridden over at Silverstone and I was hoping that I was gonna be okay by then, but I had a long, long journey still to come, obviously. I mean, in some ways it was probably a bit mental the way we set off down rail and we were supposed to be following two marshals, but it was never gonna happen, really. <laughs> <laughs> when I got one go at having to go around the TT that year, I wanted to have a proper go, so that was it. So moving on, this is the same year, 2011. So this is the, the first RST suit I actually got to race with out to Macau. And it was my, my first time out with the right hand gear shift as well. So it was quite a intense learning time at the, at the Macau Grand Prix being one of the most dangerous road races that we do. But um, we managed to qualify front row and get a podium with the bike. I finished third, led the race. So yeah, it's got some good memories. I didn't feel much pressure to be honest because strangely I felt quite confident that I was gonna ride well and uh, pretty much everyone else thought that I had no chance. Yeah, once it started going well, I think I enjoyed riding that bike and it was a memorable time. To be getting made to measure suits back then with this quality, with the venting and everything was really trick. So this suit was from 2015, my first suit being competitive again after all my injuries. Obviously it's four years since 2011. There's been a lot of suits in between there that I've rode with. So this was the first suit that I won a TT again and we did the double in 2015. It was um, probably one of my best TT win ever from four years of not winning any races and 30 odd operations up to that point. Um, yeah, there were some emotions riding that bike and, and coming over the, the mountain on the last lap with this suit. Yeah, it was like fighting off the emotion until I got to line really. It was a lot of things went through in my head where I spent time in hospital operations that I had been told that I was going to have my leg taken off numerous times and the bad times on morphine and the bad times when you can't even take a cup of tea up to bed because you're on crutches and yeah, everything sort of flashed back over that last lap coming over the mountain. So yeah, it was definitely the most emotional time I've had racing a bike. So moving on from the 2015 suit, this is just one year after 2016. And I was riding the same 600 this year, but with BMW for the super stock and super bike races. This suit has got my fondest memories, actually my fastest ever lap that I've done at the TT from a standing start. I did a similar, pretty much exactly the same lap time in the Superbike and the Super Stock race um, and won the Super Stock race in this suit and did 133 mile an hour standing start. So it's got some good memories from this suit. So this is my latest suit, 2021 suit, full airbag suit, different shoulders and knees again. And obviously the rear, the hump is fully kitted out with the airbag electronic side and the gas canister. And um, I've actually had this suit go off at the hairpin at Knock Hill when I crashed this year, hence the damage here. Trick looking suit, lovely colour scheme and modern. Yeah, I treat the circuits completely separate. I enjoy doing circuit racing and I still want to be competitive but at the end of the day you have to be riding week in week out to be competitive on the road as well so it's all just part of that preparation. If I had to pick uh, any suit to wear for the rest of my life it would be this obviously the most modern one with the airbag suit and the, the modern colour scheme and all the, the modern Kevlar and shoulder pads, knee pads, the, the fit of this suit's really really good.